Your Majesty, King Muswati III, Head of State for the Kingdom of Eswatini, Right Honorable Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Eswatini, Right Honorable Former Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Your Excellency Haile Miriam, Miriam Desalin, Honorable Senator uh, Tusile Dlala, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Honorable Senator, Minister um, um, Mantobe Kumalo, and Honorable Minister of the AU States present here at the high table, and the representative of um, the AU Chairperson, His Excellency Sisi, and uh, other representatives, ladies and gentlemen present. Your Majesty, Excellencies, at the outset, I'd wish to convey to you the apologies of His Excellency Musa Faki Muhammad, the chairperson of the African Union, who would have loved to join us at this launch. However, due to exigencies of duty, he has not been able to be with you. I'm delivering these remarks on his behalf, Your Majesty. It is a great pleasure and honor for the African Union Commission to be invited to participate in the launch of the Regional Office for Southern Africa of the African Electronic Trade Group on e-commerce. The global economy is shifting very rapidly into a connected information space. This has not spared the way the world is trading. There's an increasing growing trade around the world towards digitalizing trade. Electronic commerce, that is e-commerce, is growing both in volume and geographical reach. Global e-commerce amounted to dollars 29.3 trillion in 2017, according to UNCTAD. At the same time, African e-commerce is estimated at 300 million US dollars and is projected to reach 75 billion US dollars in 2025. This will be driven by Africa's growing middle class, estimated at 350 million and projected to reach 600 million by 2030. At the African Union Commission, we have noted that e-commerce is imperative for Africa as it offers numerous advantages. It is an essential element for success of the continent's industrialization as well as the AAF, CFTA, that is the African uh, Continental Free Trade Area. As we are experiencing several economies, e-commerce presents the very notion of economic inclusivity, which is vital for the emancipation of uh, emancipating the challenges of women and youth, as well as SMEs on the continent. It was therefore in this regard that we sought to work with the African Electronic um, Trade Group in this undertaking. We concluded an MOU with them and it gives us great pleasure to witness the first fruits in our partnership with them through this launch. Your Majesty, Excellencies, it is my singular honor to thank and congratulate you and the people of Swaziland for hosting this vital regional office. Your Majesty, it's our belief that it's from this kingdom and yourself that the whole Southern Africa shall hear the irresistible bits of the e-commerce drums at, as its benefits spread to the whole region. The envisioned benefits of this initiative include, among others, one, management of cross-border special economic zones for the manufacture of specific products destined for the continental market and beyond. Management of cross-border economic corridors, which are critical for the transit of goods and services across the continent, conscious of the security and collaboration mechanisms between the AU member states. 
trade information exchange will also ensue and it will benefit uh, with gender and sexual disaggregation. And finally, the ability to accelerate the implementation of the AFCFTA and responding to the Agenda 23, 2063, as well as uh, the UN SDGs, including connecting with the continent's SMEs. Your Majesty, Excellencies, as you are aware, the African Union Commission is now seized with the implementation of the AFCFTA, as well as the strategic action plan for boosting intra-African trade. However, we realize that to effectively implement this AFCFTA, it will require flanking policies and initiatives such as this one, Your Majesty, um, if the AFCFTA is to reach and achieve its goals of solving some of the continent's challenges, such as unemployment. We therefore see this initiative as championed by the E-Trade Group as vital and fully compatible with our agenda. And it's in this regard that we not only welcome their launch, but also look forward to working with the group in making trade happen in Africa by establishing similar offices on the continent. The Commission will collaborate to ensure alignment in relevant national, regional, and continental initiatives, as well as bringing on board the collaboration of the relevant AU institutions, including the African Union Development Agency, commonly known as NAPAD. It is in the same vein that we at the Commission are developing a digital trade and digital economy um, excuse me, strategy under the umbrella of a digital transformation strategy for the continent. Allow me, Your Majesty, to conclude by stating that the African Union Commission looks forward to enhancing our collaboration with the E-Trade Group as well as the Kingdom of Eswatini in order to fulfill Africa's vision of an integrated, prosperous, and peaceful Africa, driven by its own citizens and representing a dynamic force in the global arena, a vision, needless to say, that advocates for unity and integration, a continent of free citizens, and expanded horizons where the full potential of women, youth, boys and girls are realized and with freedom from fear, disease and want. I thank you for your kind attention.